Okay, so I've got a little project going on here. This kayak is getting kind of thin right here. I can push it in. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's years of going up on gravel at a takeout or concrete at a motorboat put in. So I need to try to get a piece of plastic on the top of this to sort of strengthen that up a little bit and give it a little bit more life. Now I had planned on taking a trip out to the southwest this spring, late spring. Uh, my Ohio buddy was even going to meet up with me out there for a little while. Uh, so I was going to sell this and probably even sell that canoe, but this CO VID 19 thing came up and changed my plans. So I canceled that trip. So I'm not going to worry about selling this or anything right now. I might never sell it. But I do want to get some more life out of it. So I'm going to try to get a piece of plastic on top of this to strengthen that up a little bit. Now let's see how that goes. Now this back is scuffed up some too. If you can see that gray coming through the green color. Uh, if that works on the front, I'm even going to try to put a piece on the back. So let's see what happens with that. So I thought about where am I going to get a piece of plastic to do this repair. And then it dawned on me that I used to always see a five gallon bucket laying somewhere on the side of a highway so i went on a hike with a friend this morning and i thought you know on the way back home coming down the interstate i'm gonna look and see if i can find a plastic bucket and sure enough it didn't take long this is an old bucket of hydraulic fluid i've marked it i'm going to use this factory line and I marked another line approximately two and a half inches. So I'm going to try to cut this out. And uh, I know I'm not working in the machine shop, but I'm going to try to make it halfway decent. Uh, halfway decent cut on it. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to cut this with this Dremel type tool. Now this one's actually a Black & Decker. It does the same thing. Got a little grinding wheel kind of thing on there. And uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me cut this out and listen to all that noise and take all that time. So I'll be back when I've got a piece of plastic in my hand. Okay, so here I am with my piece of plastic cut out. I have some extra hydraulic fluid if anybody needs any. <laughs> anyway, that didn't, uh, that didn't come out too bad. That wasn't that hard to cut. Although I want to show, this is that little cutoff blade I was using. You buy those in a little circular container, they're... I don't know, there are 20 or 25 of them in there, but I broke three of them doing this project. And that happens to me every time I use these. So you have to be real careful to keep a real straight line and not put any, any twist or bend on this thing because it'll break in a half a heartbeat. And uh, if I should have put on my safety glasses. I didn't. I have on my reading glasses but uh, don't do like I do. If you have any safety glasses while doing this Dremel work, then uh, put them on. Okay, so here was that first one. And a few minutes and uh, about three more of those saw blades, I went ahead and cut out a second 
smaller one. Uh, the consensus on YouTube seems to be to use JB weld on these repairs, so that's what I'm going to do. If I have enough JB weld left to put this on the back, I will. And I'm going to use this on the front. And what I'm going to do is on this black surface, I'm going to leave this out in this Alabama sun all day tomorrow and see if it'll flatten this out a little bit. If it does, then my idea that I have for this deal is probably going to work. So let's see what happens with that. But before I forget, I wish you'd look at this bucket I cut up. It looks like that could be used for something. Like maybe, maybe we could get Wayne Jewel to make him a squirrel's house out of this or a bird feeder <laughs> put on a stump well we're back you haven't noticed it watching this video but it's been several days now these have flattened out a little bit but not near what i thought but a lot of the issue is that we've been below our normal temperatures here and it's been raining quite a bit so we just haven't had the normal heat but i did try hitting this with a hair dryer i thought maybe a hair dryer would get hot enough to sort of melt this down a little but it didn't this uh five gallon bucket uh plastic is is uh pretty tough now also, <clears throat> this came with uh, uh, hydraulic fluid in it, so I wanted to make sure that was real clean. So I keep some Dawn liquid around. I don't like using it because I can taste it in my coffee in the morning. <laughs> but uh, it is a good grease cutter, so uh, I cleaned it up real good with that. So what I did was go to Harbor Freight and buy a cheap heat gun. This was uh, 15 bucks and it has two temperatures, 700 degrees or 1100 degrees. And I figured that'd be good enough. So let's see what happens with this thing.
Okay, my goal here today is to get this plastic fastened, glued, bonded, whatever you want to call it, to this kayak. Now, this plastic didn't end up as good as I really wanted it to. It was my first time ever trying to mess with that kind of stuff, and it's a little rougher than a person might want, but it's still going to be functional and do the job that it's supposed to do so those of you that are used to working with plastic and stuff i'm sure you'll do a better job but this jp weld is supposed to set in 15 minutes so i got two bungee cords rigged up here to hold these two ends down and that's what i'm going to do here at the beginning i'm going to try to get these two ends bonded to the kayak then after that's bonded, then I'm gonna come and fill in all the crack around here with some more of the JP weld. And see if we can get this piece of plastic to hold on here. It's gonna work real good if I can get it to fasten. So let me go mix up some of that uh, JP weld. Okay, that JP weld came with this little rounded off popsicle looking stick to stir these two parts of this JP weld together. And that wasn't gonna be enough to do this job, I don't think. So just a little tip. This was a clothes pin. I took that piece of metal out of it and that should give me two good little stir sticks. And I actually like this squared in better than that round end. Okay, this JP weld is supposed to be a reusable end on here. I haven't had a whole lot of good luck when trying to use super glue like that. We'll see if this works. But you're supposed to pull this end off. This is a lid off of a jar. You're supposed to put an equal amount of this stuff in there. I'm going to assume as much as you can use in 15 minutes You're then supposed to put the lid back on this and close it and you're supposed to be able to come back and use it Now I'm going to use their little stick first I'm going to assume and Remember this is my first time doing this but I'm going to assume you're supposed to stir this until you have one solid color. Without any streaks in it. That just seems logical to me. So now... Let's remove this first bungee. And I'm gonna start applying. I think I wish that stuff was a little thicker. Remember, this boat didn't have a leak in it. I'm catching this before it gets a leak in it. I wanna make sure it gets up under there good. Yeah, I do like the square end better. So if that was a little thicker, I think it wouldn't have such a tendency to run out. I want to 
make sure it gets up under there good. And when I pull down with that bungee cord, it'll probably squish it out. But that'll be okay. What I can grab and use, I'll grab and use. Okay, now let's take this bungee cord and put it on there. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. So I'm happy here. I can get the bungee cord off <laughs> after this sets up I'll feel like somebody and listen viewers if you have worked with this before and know to give me some better advice don't be shy Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there for a little while. It's supposed to take about 15 minutes to harden up. And let me see if I can turn the camera off without getting it all over my camera. Okay, so this didn't end up as pretty as I wanted it to, but I've said before, that pretty is not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in function, and I think this is going to work. Uh, I went ahead, and I didn't think you needed to watch me doing all this, but I went ahead, and I've glued the rest of this thing down. And there's some of my bungee cord on both sides. <laughs> so this stuff, it still feels just a little, little bit tacky, but it's pretty doggone hard. So, I'm going to take this out on the water. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow or not. I might. It depends on the weather. There's a uh, summertime southeastern storms are starting to come around where it blows up in the afternoon. But anyway, uh, I think this is going to be pretty good. After I put this in the water, I'll see if I'm going to do the other end. If it works and stays on in the water then i'm going to do the other end of it so here we are so far i'll see you on the water 